Pixel Your Site has a feature called WooCommerce Report that will help you understand what generate your sales. This is a first party tracking tool hosted by your website. Uh, all the scripts are generated by the plugin, so by your website. Uh, the data is hosted by your website, we don't see it. Uh, attribution is not done externally, like by the Facebook Metapixel or, Metapixel or Google Analytics or anything else. It is done locally by our plugin. So you are the complete owner of the data and uh, we don't have access to this data. It's yours. What uh, we track, what the plugin tracks for you is the traffic source, the landing page and a number of UTMs. And UTMs are very important because they will allow you to identify what uh, actually generates a cell, including the campaign name, the ad set name and even the uh, ad name. Once you have this data, you can visualize what orders are connected to a particular campaign or ad set or ad and even what products were sold by a particular ad. In this video, I will explain how all this stuff works, uh, how you can use UTMs, how you can add UTMs. We also have UTMs templates inside the plugin. These templates will let you easily configure your ads in a way that uh, campaign name, AdSense name and uh, uh, ad name are automatically tracked with these templates and things, once you understand the mechanism, uh, things will be really, really easy to follow. So, uh, some things are uh, available in both our plugins, the paid version and the free version. Some are available only in the paid plugin. I will start by showing you uh, the, the things that are available in the free version as well. So both plugins have it. Uh, basically, we will store this data for each WooCommerce order. This is a, a normal order page. If you scroll, you will see this section added by a pixel your site with uh, two sets of data because we have two attribution models first visit and last visit i will show you some um, options for each of them uh, in this video and you can see the landing page the traffic source and utms utm source utm medium utm content utm term and again the same set of data for the last visit attribution model uh, we also send this data in the email that you get as a website admin. So this is an email called uh, by WooCommerce uh, new order uh, that you get, not your customers. They don't see this data, only you see it as website admin. Uh, and again, this is the email and right here you have a new section added by Pixel Your Site with um, the same that I, that I show you for the order last. L landing page, traffic source, UTM source, UTM medium, UTM content, and UTM term. If you don't want to get this data in your email, it's very simple. You can actually uh, turn this feature off, open the plugin, go to the WooCommerce page and look for this option right here. Send the report data to the new order email turn it off, scroll, save, and that's it. Uh, you won't get it anymore. Now, uh, this is available for both our free and paid customers, but the paid plugin comes with a very nice and useful new section, WooCommerce report. Here you can visualize the data like this, very simple. This is a demo website, so I don't have a lot of orders to track. Your reports will look much more complex. Uh, you can change, for example, and see year to date. It will bring more, much more info in my case. Uh, well, not that much, but again, it's a demo website. And you can select what you want to see, traffic, landing page. Okay. So you have landing pages with some interesting stats and UTM source 
and so UTM campaign. Uh, UTM campaign usually tracks the campaign name, so this is quite useful. Uh, depending on the campaign name and how you have UTMs configured, you will see the campaign name here. Now, for each of these uh, reports, you can go and have some more in-deep data for each of them. So I will just show you an example. Click on the UTM you want to visualize, and now you have uh, the data uh, split by date. So you can see it like this. You can get the orders IDs with a link to the actual order so it will open the order from WooCommerce if you need it and you can also see the products sold uh, in relation with this UTM campaign so I can see all the products now I can also download the data very easily okay I, I have a uh, file here I can open the file I can upload it to other tools um, so it's pretty flexible and uh, I would say also very basic it's not something that complicated to understand you can go back uh, you can do the same for other uh, UTMs or for other uh, for the traffic source landing page and so on there are a few uh, options here uh, we plan to add more uh, you can select what kind of orders to show in the report in my case I have processing and completed but you can select others and save um, the plugin will start to uh, reconfigure the data it will take some time I don't want to do it here because uh, we will spend uh, minutes waiting uh, and that's basically uh, it now there are a few things I want to explain uh, sorry on the WooCommerce page you can um, control some of the things you can basically turn this completely off by disable report and save you can stop sending emails and you can stop displaying data on the user's profile page because we also display this data on the um, client's profile page let me show you what I mean and I have uh, the number of orders life, lifetime value and average order value if you don't want to see this here you can simply disable uh, this option and they are gone now uh, about attribution from the plugins main page you have the option for the first visit model which by default it's up to seven days so we will use the data from the, uh, the visit for seven days and the last visit uh, uses by default 60 minutes so you visit the website for the next 60 minutes we will use that set of data it usually this covers a normal uh, session so if someone visits a website you, with a particular set of UTMs we will have that UTMs for all the events uh, for the next 60 minutes uh, we have uh, this uh, attribution model option for events as well because the plugin the paid plugin also tracks UTMs and uh, add the UTMs as event parameters but this is uh, for a different video uh, now the most useful part is probably this UTM builder. I will make separate videos for each UTM template and show you how they work exactly where you need to copy this data how to actually do it but for now I want to show you the page from here you can copy the UTM uh, template all these dynamic values will uh, help you automatically track the campaign name the AdSense name and the ad name for Facebook or Meta, Google Analytics, TikTok, actually this is Google Ads, we need to change it, TikTok, Pinterest and Bing. You also have a, a UTM builder where you can add your uh, address or URL and then simply add UTMs like this and you will have the result here. Uh, 
the URL with the UTMs or just the UTMs. So you can use them uh, separately if you need to. Uh, this is very useful because UTMs can be used with every link that you have, not just your ads. So if you have a, a newsletter, you can use URLs with UTMs in that newsletter and the reports will show you that uh, an order came from that particular link in your newsletter. Uh, if you have affiliate links that you give away to your affiliates, you can use UTMs as well and you will be able to tell which affiliate link uh, generated a particular cell and so on. Basically, anything can have UTMs and uh, once we identify the UTMs in the URL, we will uh, be able to track them and you can visualize the data inside the WooCommerce reports page. Now, uh, this tool is meant to be as a sort of intelligence backup. Uh, don't rely on it as your main source. Keep uh, using fake meta uh, ad reports, uh, Google ad reports for attribution and uh, uh, all the metrics that they offer. Just use this tool just as a sort of secondary opinion. Uh, some of the info that we provide is not available with your normal uh, meta report. For example, you, you are not able to see what products were sold by a particular ad. With our tool, you can do this. You can uh, visualize what products were sold. Uh, we have also some limits because in some instances, Facebook is able to attribute sales for people that just saw an ad without clicking on the ad. Uh, we are not able to see such conversions. Uh, we are also not able to track uh, conversion across devices because this is based on UTMs. UTMs uh, will stay in uh, one browser. If the visitor uh, lands, uh, I don't know, on phone after seeing an ad, we will track the UTMs on that phone. But if they uh, decide to uh, make the sell from their desktop, uh, we will not be able to connect between uh, the two devices. So uh, you will have differences between what we are able to track when what uh, Facebook, Meta, or Google, or Pinterest, or TikTok can track. But this is still a very insightful uh, set of data, and I encourage you to look at it at least, I don't know, once a week. Um, Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to our channel and uh, share, like, and uh, I don't know, be positive with our content. We really, really need your help.